Hey guys, so just to give you a quick tutorial on how to enable the webinar feature and the payment collection on Zoom, you need to go to the Zoom website under zoom.us. Go ahead and click on plans and pricing. There you will see your different options. It will not work on the free one, so you would have to upgrade to the pro. So you would click there by now, and then you need to add on the webinar feature Scroll down and find webinars. It's a video webinar. It's good for 100 participants. You can go ahead and click buy now. So that's gonna be the first thing you'll need to do is subscribe to that. And the webinar, you do not have to renew it. You can just do no auto renew. So it's only good for one month. That's an option. Once you do that and everything's good, you come up to your account, click on your account, and then you're gonna go ahead and find your information here. So. This account is going to give you all your details to everything. Um, on the side here is where you're going to find where you need to go and add on the payment feature. So under account management and then scroll down to webinar settings. Here you can upload any branding or photos or anything and this will be included in the webinar information. You can also update your emails. So these are automatic emails that are sent to participants when different things happen through the website, such as when they register, they will get an email right away. So you do not have to send the email using this feature. But this is what is important, is when you go down, you wanna make sure under the registration settings, you go ahead and click edit, where it says allow option to charge registration registration fee. So go ahead and click edit. And you need to make sure you click this box, allow option to charge registration fee. And then you have to put in your PayPal information. So I already have mine in there, but it will ask you to verify your PayPal account. Make sure you type that in and hit accept. And then you hit save. Once you do that, if your uh, PayPal is connected, then you're gonna come back up to the top here and click on webinars. So we go to schedule a webinar. As you can see, I have quite a few coming up. These are my classes. So schedule a webinar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type in practice. Maybe you put something about your webinar. Um, oops, hold on, I already edited it. So hold on. So go ahead and hit practice. Um, put the date and the time for when it's gonna be. So I'll do it on Tuesday, say 12 o'clock. Make sure your time zone is correct. That's very important. Uh, registration, you need to have registration required. That box needs to be ticked. I actually don't have a webinar password, but you can put one in. You can change the number if you want to, but I actually don't need it because the link that they're sent is a unique code that only they can use. I put on the host for the video for sure, and then the panelists I do put on because when they come in, they actually are not turned on. I have to manually add people to be a panelist and I also have to manually allow them to turn on their video. So it's okay to have both of those on. Audio, I'd have both. And then of course, down in the bottom, make sure you hit save. Now the webinar is now booked. You can add it to one of your calendars if you want to. Come all the way down and this is how you invite people. So this registration link is how people can actually go ahead and register. But before we do that, if you want to enable the payment, you need to go to the approval options right here and go ahead and click edit. So this is important because right now we have registration required, but we also need to charge registration through PayPal if you want this option. So I'm gonna charge $5. It's already connected to my PayPal because I've already done this. And once you connect it to your PayPal, that's all you have to do. Okay, this is each webinar. You do have to set up the PayPal fee though if you're going to do it. You come down and then I'm gonna go ahead and click save all. So as I'm going to there, now I'm all set. And what it's gonna look like, let me just come back to one of my other webinars that's properly set up. So say I'm going to do Strong by Zumba at 5.15 tonight. So again, I um, go down to the invite. This is the link that I set up. Actually, you can just hit copy. And I come up to a new browser. I go ahead and put it in. 
and people are actually gonna see this when they click the link. The details, I put some information about joining Zoom to help my students. So I go ahead and put it in and then pay and register. So once you do that, oops, I have some questions that I needed to answer. There we go. And then it takes me to the PayPal screen so you can go ahead and register for the webinar. So I hope that this helps you. Um, the webinar feature does offer some better options for streaming to some degree, but the unfortunate part is you're not able to see your students until you put it into, and you put the students into panelists, then you can view them. Uh, but the streaming has been better for my students than a Zoom meeting, but everybody's internet must be good regardless of however they stream. So good luck guys.